We're off to uh, the Doncaster Chamber. We've got a really good relationship with those guys. Uh, we deliver workshops pretty much every month, to be honest with you. Um, and it's for the launch pad. So these are startup businesses or people that have been in business, I would say, less than a year. Um, educating those guys on how to use social media proper. The Be More Social way. The information that you put on the artwork, the graphics, shouldn't really contain a lot of text. They should be bright, bold, engaging, impactful. We shouldn't be designing a leaflet anymore. What we're doing is we're creating some kind of showstopper, small headline here with a graphic that's going to just shout out and stop people's thumb from scrolling up the newsfeed. And the context should all be delivered in the status update. Yeah? The video should be, again, as bright and as bold as they can be and making sure that your website is accurately and properly mobile optimized. Because what happens if when you're sharing your URL on the status updates, all of these platforms will send out what's called a ping back. What that means is these platforms will send a message out to your website. And if it comes back in less than 2.4 seconds, they've graded you down. What a lovely day. Because they've got a lot to take on. They've got to start their own business. They've got to start their own social campaigns. It's hard for them. Oh, dear me. I used to get great chance for driving and talking at the same time. I used to have it plugged up on there. And now I don't have to because I've got somebody filming me doing it. So, <laughs> D Rock. D Rock. D Rock. Watch this space, Gary V. Because Ricky C. We're about to get all up in it. But I do enjoy doing those. Um, not more so, it'd be wrong of me to say more so, but as well as any other workshop that I do, because I think those guys get more value because it's part of the launch pad uh, or the startup setup from. Um, the chamber I think they get like a we often give business view not business advice out but like a view of well how bad do you want it you know do you want to yeah. uh, you know play at it or do you want to make business happen and I think in some respects that honest overview I think they appreciate as well it's easy to communicate what we do in a workshop because they're switched on by the value in which we're adding. And if they're thinking in that workshop, why, wow, if I've got value today, I'm definitely going to get value from working with these guys moving forward. Which is... That's the point, isn't it? That's the point. That's the whole point of having the workshop and the scenario in, way, in the which way we work. Basically, it's another AWS thing that basically load balances it. Pretty, pretty cool. So we've already... I thought we already had Elastic. We were just running on the VPS at the moment. But I, I already thought that they were doing like a load bearer where we were... Not, not load balancing our VPS. You can upgrade the VPS to sort of meet your need. But to have load balancing, I'm having to play around with it, but we probably want the high volume one, just in preparation. I'll, I'll show, don't show you. No. no. Uh, and, and, uh, yeah, I do, yeah. No, eventually. But I'm just saying, I thought that's what we had already in place. So what I do is I'd run the website local while I'm editing it, and then when I change it to a live site, then I'll compile it and upload it, and that'll create a new version. Okay. Do it. So it's more structured. Don't to do that. Oh. So, David, come check out my new table. This is the Be More Social podcast bench. I would like to say that I built this bench. I would honestly like to say <coughs> that Ben did not build this bench because that would be me publicly going out there and saying Ben's good at something, but I can't really take it away from him. I am that impressed with this bench. 
I have to be honest. Yeah, I mean, ben was, built yeah. this with his own hands. I think he's got a little blister here that he showed us this morning, just exactly as to uh, how hard he worked this weekend for the cause, and that is the Be More Social cause, so that we can have our own podcasting unit. This is top-of-the-line kit, the best the industry could buy in terms of microphones, in terms of mixers, <laughs> headphone uh, mixer opera things, literally the best. So look out for more of this kind of stuff happening. We are going to be podcasting ourselves. We are offering this little bench out for people to come in and create their own podcast. So if that's you, you want to create your own podcast, come and see us. Let's see if we can't get together and maybe um, help you create the podcast that people want to hear. Abathy? Oh, you found that funny, yeah. Abathy! 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 Go to your page and thing. You could have got an equally big pack of sugar. I don't take sugar. But I, I think the the sugar to uh, tea ratio is a bit off there, mate. No, adios. So yeah, if there's anything that I do is, or if there's anything that I watch, it is power. And currently, it's on a slow release, so every Monday night, there's a new power or a new episode come out, so it's like frustrating, you can't binge on it, do you know what I mean? And it pisses you off. It's like, oh. Binge-worthy TV or binge-worthy things, so you go, you go through the list and you're thinking, binge what? Binge what? I've got to wait till next week, how am I binging on that? So, but at least it keeps you focused. I mean, I could sit there for two or three hours at a time and watch an entire series of power but no I'll watch just I think it's 48 minutes worth and then get cracked on with a bit of work again what else do you do outside of work outside of work hmm. work if we do anything it has to be a special thing do you know what I mean it's not like it's a like a thing that I do regularly like October is kind of like our as a couple husband and wife is our thing because we like scary things so we do a lot of those october fest things where we go to those um scream fest or scare fest or we try and do mm. a couple of a couple of them and take friends that have never been before and scare the living daylights out of them <laughs> we've been and done them all so it's like boring for us like we know what's coming around the corner but it's more fun to watch other other people do it yeah so funny story actually once um, Serge, the guys all know Serge's who, who come in, I took him last year and he's like really jumpy. So I often hide around the, the, the back of the door and I jump and him like, hey, motherfucker, and I scare him all the time. Well, it was funny because like he was ducking down in one of these scarefest things and I could just see him reaching for his missus's hands behind him. So I'm like, I pulled her to one side and I grabbed his hand. <laughs> and throughout the whole of this scarefest thing, he's stroking my hand, he's stroking my fingers. <laughs> He's pulling my hands all the way around this thing. He's like, you okay, sweetie? I'm like, mm-hmm. So it's literally <laughs> taking me through it. It must have took us about 15, 20 minutes. And then like at the end of this scare fest thing, he, he pulls me in like, like to, and brings me arms around him like that to, to, to give him a hug. I'm like, what are you doing? Is you batty? And that was it. That was it. It was funny. It had to be seen to be believed, but it was brilliant. Amazing. That's funny. So, yeah, there's loads of stuff like that. I just like to have fun. No matter what I do, that's the best way. So, because I enjoy what I do so much, I have fun doing it. So, every day is just like a play day, almost. <laughs> so, that helps you you personally articulate why we're going through this and it would seemingly be again but it's not it's completely different 
all that pissing and moaning you did he, about he spending money on those headsets, mm -hmm. you're fucking boring them to death. You know that, don't you? <laughs> you're only, listen, you're only pissing because you couldn't get yours to work. I'm not at all. It's working now. Why should I be doing It is because I fixed it for you. You see these? Yes. I'm going to pierce each knuckle with them in a Why minute. did you pull them off there? You I it. fucking spent ages doing this for you and you pulled it apart. No, because it looks... <laughs> ben, I, I haven't got the heart to tell you. It looks fucking stupid with these in. Do you, know Do you want me to just nail them in then? Right, I'll bring them down. Do it. That's the only reason why I did that. So <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pierce your nipples. That's okay. <laughs> Put them on the table. No. It's a stupid thing to be messing about with. They are shit. They're cold, aren't they? This content should include product comparison, case studies or free trials. These align with the decision making process in positioning your content as a resource without forgetting your call to action. Campaign builder, the conversion post should deliver a sense of urgency. And now your audience should have seen enough information about your product or service for making a decision. This should now be a firm and direct call to action. Are you, are you happy with that, director? You're director. You're like my Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Am I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's whatever comes natural. Obviously, oh, these yeah. are just vlogging your. Yeah, that's what I was talking. Snaps, that's I thought so. that was going to end the end of vlog. Yeah, cool. Do that. Then. Just how um, okay. it feels good to give back, uh, and the fact that like our business model can actually support them as well. You know what I mean? Before it couldn't support them. Um, you know what I mean? We'll say anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna add, uh, yeah. like a do a zzz, fucking yeah. scoop, like a, a a record thing back saying, oh by the way, David again has to remind me to like and subscribe. The reason why I forget is it doesn't come naturally for me to ask. I'm too busy giving, but like David says, don't forget to ask, Rick. You must ask because otherwise you won't get. So I'm asking, please like and subscribe.